But we have many different applications that will have unique requirements. In aerospace, things that have high power, we also have the challenge of being lightweight. So for example, new trends in electric propulsion mean you're flying around heavy batteries, so you're not burning fuel. And therefore, everything is very, very weight sensitive. When you get into other technologies like data processing, you deal with high speed products. And sometimes these types of products, the materials uh, that we use, they may change their performance under different uh, atmosphere conditions. So we have to do that type of evaluation. We also have other areas like fiber optics, where fiber optics have usually temperature limitations or you put them in space, they may have radiation effects. So all these areas, we have to make sure we have the appropriate materials like rad hardened products or just ruggedness for the application. We keep our products made out of materials that we use the minimal materials possible and also the most lightweight materials possible and is still affordable. Say you're a soldier or something carrying around a lot of equipment or radios or night vision, goggles, things that have technology that keep them safe and enable them to communicate. Uh, we want them to be able to, to still be mobile and have the endurance they need for that. There are many materials that uh, we're trying to explore. Um, you think about certain ones that are structural first and foremost, I think, so the, the different metal alloys. Um, but when we get into uh, making things lighter, um, some of our primary power products, we're looking at things like aluminum instead of copper, which is lighter, but also we're studying the different shapes. And, and what we found is that when you change the shape of a standard round wire, into a different geometry, we can get usually almost half of the weight out of that with a different geometry. Carbon nanotubes are, are areas where we've built some products that's flying in space, it's flying in some uh, prototype cables we did for some helicopter applications as well. But these are extremely, extremely lightweight, dur durable, uh, highly flexible. So you don't have some of the issues like fatigue of metal in some of these new constructions. But there's another, aspect we're looking at in sustainability is if you want a material to break down and not be around forever, you know, so there's kind of a paradox there. So we're exploring materials that can perhaps be the materials of the future. And maybe there is a antidote where you have a material that is sustainable and it doesn't break down, but then when you, when you need to recycle it or reuse it or reclaim it, you have a way to, to do that with a process. So those are, I think, some really important areas that we're doing in in the areas of lightweight and sustainability in materials. Our customers need to be confident in our products. And one of the, the key areas that we establish that is from the very early parts of our designs, we do the simulations, we do prototyping, and we do testing. And when we generally do testing, we test per some of our known failure modes. And then we partner with our customers to evaluate their specific applications. Because they may not, we, we cannot, copy every customer's application into our test plans. But we can understand what they're trying to do and have a comprehensive test plan that makes sure that we have reliable products for their applications. The value that customers have when they come to TE is we are not just looking at one component. We're looking at that whole system. So I think in the past, a customer would say, hey, I need a new cable type, a new connector type. But we can now ask the question, so tell me more about your system. What is this component connecting to? And what is downstream from that? And with our understanding of the system architecture, we can give them the best solution, not something they're trying to piece together. And if they need us to improve it and push the envelope, we have to look at new ways of doing our constructions or our materials or our designs. So these are all the things that we work with our customers to give them a good confidence in what a product can do. And then if it needs to go beyond that, give them a path forward for the development with our technology roadmaps and our product roadmaps. Mm -hmm.